Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jake Wire, Blue Coast Realty. And first, I wanted to thank you guys very much for watching the channel. Um, I always appreciate your guys' comments. So if you guys have questions for us after this video, just go ahead and leave them below. Love to answer them. We'll get it to you guys real quick. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is probably the number one question you guys always have for us. And me and Lexi have actually been kind of dancing around doing this video for a little while and not wanting to um, put it up. So I'm going to tackle it today. And what that question always is, is the Wilmington and surrounding area school districts. Um, a lot of you guys have school age kids that are considering Wilmington as a landing place to live. And obviously where you live within the city is where your kids are going to be going to school. So good school districts is a huge issue for a lot of you guys. And even our retirees and people that maybe don't have children, it's important to them to have a good school district that they're purchasing in because obviously that's going to affect your property values. Uh, resale values, um, things like that. So it's always good to make sure that your school district is, is going to be a solid school district that you're purchasing in. Um, and that's just 101 for, for buying property. It's it's one of the major issues of, of resale is what kind of school district you're in. So the reason why we've been dancing around this subject um, is because we really didn't want to offend anybody. Uh, we found over the years that a lot of people have... Um, different schools districts that they prefer and for different reasons and so to say one school district is number one and one school district is number two and three it, it's a little bit uh painting with a broad brush and we really didn't want to offend all the really hard-working folks that are uh you know in the education uh field the teachers and all the all the men and women that are working so hard to, to make these schools great so i'm going to get into it anyways because i know you guys really want to know this information so what I'm going to do is kind of probably what you're looking at doing yourself. If you're out of state, out of the area, you're on the internet, you're probably Googling this, um, trying to figure out what's what as far as school districts are concerned. So I'm going to do that with you. So let's go ahead and open up Google. That's my search engine of choice. If you're a Yahoo person or Ask Jeeves person, I have, I have no issues with that. You could use whatever you'd like. I'm sure that they're, they're going to pull the same things up. So Let's go ahead and get started in this. So this is Google. We're going to get into it. And the first thing you're going to notice once you type in, you know, like rated school districts for Wilmington, you'll probably see greatschools.org. That is going to be the most popular nationwide rating system. It has been since the 90s. So let's go ahead and get into that site here. This is what you're going to find. So go ahead and figure out what, what school age obviously you need to be in. So elementary school, just use that for now and click on that. This is what you're going to get the map with a bunch of listed schools and the ratings one through 10, 10 being the best. Let's go and talk about this map real quick. This is Wilmington. This orange area right here is our downtown with the lowest test scores. That's pretty common for pretty much any area. The downtown areas tend to have kind of bad school districts. So this is Parsley um, Elementary. This is kind of one of the top rated ones, but what I really want to show you here is this. So you see this 10? On the test scores that's the proficiency standard testing test scores and this one right here this number seven is progress so this is something that a lot of people are not taking into account when they're looking at these scores and it's really really important now the reason being let me go ahead and pull up one that i know has issues in the proficiency testing and that is going to be Murrayville Elementary. So they test really good on the standardized testing, on the proficiency testing. And I'll show you that here as soon as my computer catches up here. So as you can see here, this is Murrayville Elementary School. This is kind of their test, their testing right here. This is the proficiency test score, so a seven. That's pretty good. Now the reason why they're getting pulled all the way down on the overall score is right here. So this is student progress. So let me explain to you how this all works. So the proficiency testing kind of got put into place back in 2001 with a no child left behind policies that Congress put in place. So this is goes way back 19 years now. Um, seems like not too long ago to me, but um, obviously that's now almost historical. So, um, so let's go and talk about that. So basically what I'm talking about is the proficiency testing, even especially in the elementary school ages, more than anything. It kind of tests where you are as far as reading, writing, math goes, the basics. And most of these kids that are coming into the system, 
are going to be head start if their parents have been teaching them. So this goes to kind of affluent areas versus non-affluent areas and maybe even gets down to a, um, you know, racial discrepancies. I don't really want to get into that right now, but basically what this says is that more affluent areas are kind of prepping their kids before they get into school. So it really has nothing to do at the very beginning testing how good the school system is teaching them. So what I'm trying to say is that these proficiency tests and that proficiency score is really how good the parents have prepped their children. Have they read to them? Have they taught them math? Have they all those things? Now the other one, the average growth testing score, now that one is gonna show how they've improved over time. So that is gonna be a direct link on how that school system is teaching their children. So that's really what I wanna go over. So when you open up these, these lists, get a little more in depth into them, take a look at both scores, um, and also keep in mind that this is just standardized testing. There's a whole nother set of things that obviously make a school a school, how, this, how the teachers interact with parents, how they interact with the students, what the facilities are like, walking around the playground, things like that, you know, those are really, really, really important. And to be honest with you, you need to kind of ask someone personally about that kind of information. Go see it for yourself. If you're really planning on making that move, that's what I would suggest. Um, I, we're happy to point you in the right direction, obviously. Uh, the 28409 zip code in the Wilmington proper area is kind of the historically well-known uh, good school district here. The other zip code in the Hampstead zip code is uh, 28443, and that's going to be your top sales school district, which has always historically performed really good for basically all the grade levels. So, you know, as a broad brush stroke, those are kind of the two go-tos here in the area that people like to do if they're looking for the top, top historically rated school districts. But I really just wanted to go over that, how that system works. Because I think that's kind of why we have danced around this video for so long is because we really know that there's so much that goes into making a school district a good school district. So I'm really hoping that's helpful. If you guys have really specific questions, if you have like, you know, ages, ages this to that and you want to be in a certain area, we are happy to point you guys out in the right directions of which ones we would suggest. But I just kind of want to make a broad video about how this rating system works because it really is skewed when you're looking at just the single number of number one school district is a number is, is rated a nine. What does that mean? So I hope that's helpful. Um, if it is, I'd love to hear you guys' comments on this because like I said, we have, we've stayed away from this video for a while for, on purpose. Um, and you know, we probably should have put it out a long time ago, but there it is. Please reach out to us. Please comment. Please like it if we're helpful. Um, again, reach out to us anytime. We're happy to help you out. If you guys are, going here into town, checking in the area out, reach out to us personally. We'd be happy to help you out. Talk to you soon.